Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Chase from Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited, rocking the 2019-2020 West Ham goalkeeper jersey. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the five types of football fans you come across during the transfer window. Whether it's June, July or January, the football transfer window can be a real headache for football fans. It can even be a real life soap opera, if you will. Now, these fans we're going to look at today, they didn't make the transfer window season any easier for anyone. With that being said, let's jump straight in. These are the five types of football fans you come across during the transfer season. The first group we're going to look at are those fans who believe every single source. Irregardless of the source, it can even be Farmers Weekly. These fans will take it as gospel. It can be the most bogus pie-in-the-sky rumor, like Lionel Messi to Blackpool, and these fans will believe it. They'll read it and believe it. They'll swear it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, the next group we're going to look at are the Fabrizio Romano disciples. According to these guys, if Fabrizio didn't break the story, it's not going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. I will never lie to you. I totally get the Fabrizio appeal. The dude is super smooth and he has that certain je ne sais quoi that we come across in the GQ magazine. Also, 9 out of 10 times, his sources are completely accurate and 100% on the money. Now, for this next group we're going to look at, I call them the IT cult or the ITK cult. Quick heads up before we look at this one, ITK is internet speak for in the know. Most clubs have an ITK and this is the guy who usually breaks the stories or new transfer stories or just anything that goes on behind closed doors at the club. The club always has an unofficial ITK who releases the stories on Twitter or to the media. So according to these guys, if the club's ITK didn't tweet about it or mention it in their podcast, it is all lies, lies and more lies. Now, I'm not too clued up with other clubs and who the ITKs are, but from a West Ham point of view, our ITK, or our unofficial ITK, is XWHU employee. Now, the thing with X, his stories are usually on the money, he knows what he's talking about. Very few times does he lead you up the garden path. But here's the thing that gets to me. Fans will see a rumor break in, I don't know, garden and home and it might be West Ham related. And what do they do? They'll quickly whip out their phones and tweet at X or tweet at the ITK asking if it's true or if it's fake or if it's bollocks. And the unfortunate thing about this, and I guess this is the way the world is now with social media, but let's say a deal, a transfer deal breaks down, the deal falls through, it doesn't go according to plan. Now the fans, they'll almost bombard the ITK and call him a liar. And that dear viewer is not the case. Often it's out of his control, it's obviously out of their control. So what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to tell people how to act on social media, but don't be a tool. Yes, if the ITK leaks something, believe them. If they have a good reputation or a good track record, believe them, but don't be a tool about it. A lot of things fall through, a lot of things aren't in their control. So take what you get and don't be upset. Now this next group is the Bayern Barca Benfica Brigade. So with these guys, if the new player or if the rumored player doesn't come from the top six clubs from the top five leagues in Europe, then he is absolutely rubbish. These are the type of fans who only watch the Champions League from the quarterfinals. And the only footballers they know are the most popular footballers and the FIFA cover stars. And finally, the last group we're going to look at is the Oh, I've always rated him, mate group. Now, this group is very similar to the previous entry. It just has a little bit of flip reverse action. So for this one, we're talking about those players who are pretty much unheard of in the greater football scene. The only people who know about these players are the fans at his former club or the people from his country. Now, naturally, when the news breaks about an unheard of player, there's always going to be one dude or a couple of thousand dudes who, as soon as this news breaks, they run to the internet and they watch a YouTube compilation on the player if there's one available or they go to his Wikipedia page. Now that's understandable, it's what a reasonable person would do. You hear a news story breaking, you're not too familiar with the person, so you read up about them, you educate yourself, that's a good thing. However, with this group, after quickly reading a Wikipedia page or watching a goals compilation video on YouTube, they will claim they always loved this player. I've always rated him mate, I bought him on FIFA 17. Guys, chill. It's okay not to know every single player in the world. It's alright, trust me. 
And that, dear viewer, is all I have to say about that. Can you relate to any of the fans we looked at today? Do let me know in the comments below. On a personal note, being a West Ham fan, I completely ignore all transfer rumours. I get excited for absolutely nothing. The only time I get excited in transfer season is when I see the player signing for the club. Guys and girls, friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't yet, why not subscribe to Alhamarano Culture Unlimited. My name is Chase, and until next time, come on, you irons.